Honestly, I've never been home to the country. Well, first of all, I'm a CS major, so the program that they have at, at Barcelona is actually very closely related to COC, College of Computing, and the courses that they're offering were a perfect match for me. I chose GT Lorraine because of its ability for the classes to transfer very easily, and the fact that I didn't have to learn another language, yet it could still be in a foreign country. I needed to do something other than engineering, so it was Italian film study, and it helped me diversify myself. It's the only time in your life where you can study abroad for so cheaply. My parents were begging to go along with me. Really, truly, uh, what was most surprising was being able to actually go and um, experience the art um, as we were studying it. What I found most surprising was the fact that though I'm in Europe, uh, I was still being taught by Georgia Tech professors and still able to advance myself towards my degree. The great thing about the courses that I took at Oxford was that I had so much interaction with the professors, even more than more so than at Tech. Um, the professors had brought along their families with them to study abroad, which is one of the coolest things. Um, I got to hang out with my statics professors, like small children, like his two and three year old at breakfast every single morning, um, and watch another professor's um, high school son play soccer with the Georgia Tech team while we were there. It was a really, really unique experience to get to know my professors so well. I learned some about myself. Um, I think I, <clears throat> I learned to, you know, you have to learn to communicate when you go to another country where they don't speak the same language as you. So I learned a lot about nonverbal communication, learned to get by with only knowing a few words of Chinese, for instance, and maybe um, taking advantage of the few words of English the people I dealt with um, knew. By living both in Mexico and both in Spain, that I was able to kind of compare the two cultures, not only with themselves, but with my life back home. Completely new environment, you're forced to see new things, uh, meet new people. Because you find out what is really you and what is your environment that is kind of dictating what you do in your life. And so I really grew to question what it is we do here in the United States. And as a civil engineer, that would be extremely beneficial because I was able to see some of the solutions that the Europeans put in place in similar situations that here in the United States we do a little differently. I think I improved my communication skills in that I became more aware of what I was saying and how it may be interpreted in other ways. I think my most memorable experience was um, a ship ride I, we, t we all took from Japan to Taiwan. Uh, one of the nights, one of the, one of the ports we stopped and we picked up some fishermen from this island called Nagasaki. And uh, that night, we s several of us spent the whole night um, on the top of the ship just, just not t talking with these fishermen via sign language. It's really hard to like pick one. <laughs> I mean, the whole time was amazing. Don't bring a hair dryer. When you plug an American hair dryer in, nothing good happens. Let me promise you. you know, be careful with pickpockets. Don't sleep much while you're on the trip.
life's too short to not start seeing the world.